Hi! And welcome to the Art Better YouTube channel. Today's episode is brought to you by Union Coffee. Union Coffee makes dank bean water. Alright? My favorite makes you go fast. They sell beans at their store in Milford or on their website. You can use the code FEDER22 in order to get a 15% discount on, I think, anything site-wide. Just saying. Maybe go check it out. Today, we're tearing down this motor. This is the 1.6 turbo diesel. Today is all about taking it apart and uh, seeing what might be wrong with it. You know, that's not to say there is something definitely wrong with it, but we're gonna inspect everything as we take it apart. So, it's gonna look like accessories coming off, the head coming off, inspecting the head and valve train, looking at piston protrusion to inspect whether or not the rods got smushed or not, taking the pistons out, looking at the cylinder walls, all that. <laughs> So we took a bunch of stuff off. There's really no set technique I use to do that. Just if I think it's gonna be in the way, I take it off. Take it. Uh, that being said, to take the head off, you do need a little technique in that you gotta take the valve cover off, take the baffle off, you got under your bolts, your head studs. Well, you probably have bolts. I have head studs. Under my head studs, which is always getting out the big breaker bar first, then finishing it with the drill just to make it go fast. Anyways, head should come off. Uh, um, yep, there we go. Head gaskets are always good discerning agents. If you had an issue with your head gasket, like a leak or something, you should be able to read it. You can look at it and tell because here, for instance, is a water passage, blocked water passage, water passage, whatever. But if you saw this connect to where the piston is, then you know you have a water leak. But, from the looks of it, this head gasket was doing a great job. So, to everybody that says a head gasket won't last with 30 PSI boost, you're wrong. You could arguably put this back on, but I'm gonna use a fresh one. Ah. So, there's zero. From zero, we're going a full, full tenth up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're looking for top dead center. So we're looking to measure it at its highest point. Oh, there. Okay, so according to my calculations, we squished literally every rod in the motor. I will hold the camera up close in a second, but you can literally feel with your finger the fact the piston is not protruding. And this piston right here is the longest one of them all. So what that means is we bent slash compressed all four rods when we were dyno testing it. Goes to show the head gasket on these is not the first thing to fail. If you put in head studs, which means you get good clamp force between the head and the block, Apparently the first thing to fail under high boost is your rods. This all makes sense because our last dyno pole had a sharp drop in power, which you would see if your compression ratio just magically dropped across all four cylinders from your rods getting compressed. To illustrate. And we'll go over here, this is one of the more egregious ones. All right, so the rods certainly got compressed. So, if nothing else, we'll certainly be replacing the rods. Alright, so, 
they have it torn down, everything but the pistons. We didn't take those out just yet. I want to do that very concisely to not have the bottom end apart for very long because then things start collecting dust and getting messy. And So when I'm ready to tear into that, I'm going to do it, swap the rods, swap the rings, put things back together, check some clearances. So for right now though, top end's off, all the accessories are off. We're in a good spot where I can do that when I'm feeling it and probably give it some paint if I'm feeling it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. 1.6 motor build, car build, rebuild, generation five. Mm -hmm.